I started the race between Andrik and Lamin Yamal, and whoever gets to 99 rating first wins. But to be fair, Yamal has a huge advantage in his race, cause his FC25 leaked card is already 81 rated, which is 4 points higher than Andrik's rating. And also, Lamin Yamal is guaranteed starter for FC Barcelona right from the beginning, and this Barca team somehow managed to even reach the Champions League final in the first season itself. Yamal got decent season with 12 goal contributions, and got plus to win his rating. But most importantly, he helped Blaugrana win the Champions League with the assist for the only goal by Dani Olmo, becoming one of the youngest players ever to contribute in the UCL final and grabbing the Young Player of the Year award. Absolutely astonishing start from Yamal and Hendrik's comeback is looking quite unlikely already after the first season. Despite winning two trophies and scoring eight goals, Hendrik spent the whole season as the substitute for Kylian Mbappe. This time it is clear as day. Yamal had a much better first season. But the second season for Yamal was not as successful. Only two trophies won, the Copa del Rey and the Club World Cup. 14 goals and 8 assists in 31 games and plus 3 growth. He is 86 rated right now. Hendrik definitely turns the tables here, not only by winning the La Liga in back-to-back -back seasons, but making to the UCL final with Real Madrid. Although he does have fewer goal involvements this season and he is still 3 ratings below Yamal, but right now he has a chance to win the most prestigious prestigious European club competition. The first step towards that win is made by Mbappe, who opened the score against his former club PSG. After the disgraceful tackle on Rodrigo in the second half, Hendrik is coming in and will get his minutes in this final, although he also got fouled as bad as Rodrigo, but eventually he strikes back in the 86th minute to win the whole thing for his team. After two seasons, we can clearly say competition between these two players is going to be epic. Finally, Lamin Yamal wins the league over Hendrik, but that was the only trophy for him in season 3. He made the 90 mark in terms of rating, recording 25 goals and assists across the year. The best season in terms of stats for Lamin Yamal yet. And Hendrik as well didn't make the Champions League final in back-to-back -back seasons, having won only 2 trophies this year. He is 87 rated currently, but still it is 3 points below Yamal's rating. And despite having played 49 games this season, he barely contributed 20 times. And one thing is clear, to reach the next level, Hendrik needs to be the first violin in his team. So he decided to move away from Spain and joined Arsenal. To be completely honest, this Arsenal team is looking very solid and Hendrik may be the missing puzzle for the team to finally win the Premier League. But unfortunately for Gunners fans, they had a stinker of the season, winning only the Carabao Cup, losing the league to Manchester City, getting grouped in the Champions League and being humble in the Europa League semi-finals. Having said that, in terms of individual performances, Hendrik has his breakout season with 31 goals and 19 assists in 56 games. Almost one goal contribution per game ratio. He even won the top goal scorer race in the Premier League, reaching 90 overall rating. Even without Hendrik, Real Madrid smashed the La Liga with incredible 107 points over Yamal's Barcelona, who won only a single trophy whole season and got no knocked out from the Champions League by PSG. But strangely enough, Yamal as well got his best season so far, with 39 goals and 6 assists, winning PGG's award over Kylian Mbappe. Yamal is currently 92 rated and a gap between him and Hendrik is closer than ever. Only 2 ratings and Hendrik can equal Yamal in this race quite soon. To be fair, Lamin Yamal continued to put brilliant performances for Barca in 5th season as well, especially against their bitter rivals Real Madrid. But again, Blancos were unstoppable in the La Liga one more time. They defeated Blaugrana in every domestic competition and the Bees knocked them out from the Champions League. Okay, Lamin Yamal reached the 94 rating, the highest his idol Lionel Messi had in any FIFA ever. But his productivity on the field itself dropped quite a bit compared to the previous season. Which is completely opposite for Hendrik. 33 goals and 16 assists to his name, second place in the Premier League. League, FA Cup winner and yet another Champions League final for him, where he is going to face his former club Real Madrid. If he can win this game, it will give him a massive boost of confidence and can make a huge impact on the race against Yamal. But sadly for Hendrik, that's not what happened. A brace from Kylian Mbappe put an end for Hendrik's hopes.
hopes to win the Champions League and probably become a Ballon d'Or winner. With same dreams to win the Champions League and become Ballon d'Or contender, Lamin Yamal decided to join England's best team, Manchester City, in the beginning of the sixth season. This City team is definitely one of the best in the game. Right away, Yamal can win his first trophy in England with citizens. They are facing Hendrix Arsenal in the match for the Community Shield. But Gunners were better that day, scoring twice and winning the trophy over Yamal's Manchester City. Although Lamin Yamal was nominated for the Ballon d'Or in upcoming November, his new teammate Erling Haaland won it. On top of that, the shocking finale of the season was awaiting. Yamal did lose the league title to Hendrik one more time. The only trophy he won was the Carabao Cup. And in terms of individual stats, he had one of his worst seasons so far with 16 goals and 5 assists. Although he is still a favorite to win the race with 96 rating, Hendrik is chasing him by huge steps, winning the Premier League first time after his arrival to the Albion. And recording unbelievable 59 goal contributions in 52 games. He is currently 94 rated, which is by the way Cristiano Ronaldo's highest ever FIFA rating as well. After this brilliant season, Hendrik feels ready for the next big move. And Paris it is. For phenomenal 250 million euros transfer fee, PSG managed to get his transfer. Hendrik's new team is too good for a former's league. As a result, he did win his first trophy in France right away, in his first official match for PSG, simultaneously recording an assist for Dembele's winner. And who would have thought that Hendrik is going to win the Ballon d'Or before Lamin Yamal? To be fair, besides the ratings, I think he is having way better career than Lamin Yamal up to this point. Hendrik is ahead in the race with trophy count as well. He added to the French Super Cup, the Ligue 1 title and Coupe de France as well, recording 31 goals and the same amount of assists along the road. A ridiculous numbers from him. Despite this fantastic season, he went up by a single rating point, reaching only 95. But to be fair, Lamin Yamal also did exceptionally well this season, winning the Premier League and the FA Cup, scoring 31 times and giving 22 assists in 50 games. He continued to grow in his rating as well, reaching 97 this season. And he is very close to win the race, couple of seasons more and surely he will get his 99 rating. Eighth season started with a massive blow in the transfer market. PSG managed to get Yamal's transfer for a fantastic 300 million euros, beating his own record from the previous season. The two best players in the game are going to play side by side in the same team. It is going to be epic, so let the fun begin. And right from the first minutes, the link up between these two was phenomenal. Although Yamal was a star signing of the season, it was Hendrik who scored a brace for a French Super Cup match to win the first trophy of the season and Yamal's first ever prize in France. It was a tight battle for the Ballon d'Or between two Parisians, but surprisingly, Lamin Yamal grabbed a prestigious award over Hendrik, mostly because of his high rating, I assume. As expected, PSG won every domestic competition this season and even made the Champions League final. Lamin Yamal got plus one in his rating and he is now only a single rating away of winning this race. Both Yamal and Hendrik recorded 49 goal contributions this season, but apparently there were was a glitch in the simulation as Yamal played zero Bruh. games in the UCL for PSG. That was unexpected. Anyways, he is going to take part in the final itself, where PSG is facing his former club Manchester City. Citizens opened the score early in the game with the help of Erling Holland. However, PSG managed to equalize the score in the 72nd minute with Hendrik Ennis won the goal after Lee Cannon's love through ball. Just 10 minutes later, Lamin Yamal scored the second goal for Paris to win the their first ever Champions League trophy. 550 million spent for only two transfers finally win them the UCL trophy. As a result of this highly successful season, where both players obviously won the treble, Hendrik reached 97 rating and got a little bit closer to Yamal, but it is the latter who won his second consecutive Ballon d'Or due to his incredible rating, as he managed to climb all the way up to 99, winning the race against Hendrik. The race to 99. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel and click here to watch me recreating best ever Barcelona 11 with Youth Academy only.